Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I am coming at you with a quick unboxing. Um, I haven't filmed in a couple of weeks. I've been really busy with work and stuff and just you kind of have to be in the mood to film videos and I just haven't been in the mood but um, I did get a couple of things at Chanel yesterday as my Mother's Day gifts. Um, uh, I need to make this video pretty quick because I do have somewhere to be in about half an hour, but um, just a really quick story. We went in, I was just going to get something small, like some sort of SLG, or that's at least what I went in for, and um, my local Chanel, the one that I go to uh, where my essay is, uh, the SLG selection was really, really not good. Um, there wasn't anything other than basically black, the just like the classic black pieces, which is not what I wanted. Um, so I just kind of browsed around and I did come across a couple of things that I liked. And um, I, so I'm gonna share them with you today and I'll, give a quick explanation as to why I picked these things but um, like I said I have to make this quick so anyway um, I'm gonna start with the smaller item which is back here so this is so this one is a true unboxing I have not opened this since I brought it home last night um, let me just so they ran out of camellias I got the last two camellias on my other bigger item uh, which is why there isn't a camellia on the bag or box for this one, unfortunately, but that's okay. Um, so here is, here is the box and the receipt is in the bag here. So this, let me just adjust my tripod. So Okay, I've never seen a box like this. Okay, so just a quick, quick kind of um, explanation here before I open this. This item I've seen a lot of discussion about. I, um, a lot of people are very against it and I totally understand why. At first I was too. And um, I loved the idea of it, but not the price. And then I saw it in person and I don't know what it is about it, but I just, when I saw it, I was like, I have to have this. So um, I totally get if you do not think this is, you know, this isn't your thing. But um, anyway, I just really liked it. And I, uh, yeah, I just, I thought that um, I would actually use it. So anyway, I will open it and show you what it is. it came in just a box like this. It's not a magnetic box. Oh, and it came in my dust bag. I wasn't sure if it would. So it came in a nice dust bag. Same type of dust bag that the bags come in. And here is my Chanel oh, it's upside down. rain jacket for my bags and I uh, yeah it's it's so cute okay so um, when I first saw this online I thought okay that's that's a really good idea because when you're stuck in the rain with your expensive bags it would be good to have something to protect them with then I saw the price and I thought oh that's crazy but when I saw this in person, it's not, I mean, this, I guess it's, I don't know what this is, plastic, but I mean, it feels way nicer than the plastic bags that they're selling right now. Like this is soft and feels really, like it actually feels luxurious. It has leather trim on the top. So that's where like the, the straps would go through um, to put it over the bag. And it has like these little buttons with CCs on them. And the pattern on the rain jacket is really pretty. I think it's similar to a pattern that's on some of the bags right now. 
I'll show you the back. It's got this little flap on the back. And it does have an authenticity number 25 series. Um, yeah, it's, uh, and it, it, uh, we tried it on a few bags and it fits on most bags that I own. So, um, I can just kind of roll it up and stick it in a bag if I know that it's, it might rain. And if it does, I can just stick it on my bag and my bag will be protected. And like I said, I know it's not everyone's <laughs> cup of tea, but when I saw it in person, I was totally drawn to it. And um, I figure I spend this much money on handbags. Why not splurge on something to protect them with? So um, yeah, I, I really like it. Um, you can let me know your opinions in the comment section. I won't be offended. I, I had kind of a similar view that it was outrageously priced in it. I know it is, but you know what? So are the bags. So <laughs> that's nothing new for Chanel. Oh, it came with um, this little card. Let's see. This rain cape is a fashion accessory. This accessory is not waterproof, but water resistant. Yeah, so it's obviously if you're in a downpour, there are holes here. So, I mean, some water might get through, but it will be uh, better protected than if I didn't have it on. And I knew that um, when I looked at the design, obviously some water can get through this when it has an open top. So that's the first item. All right, so the second item <clears throat> is in this bag. And this one I is not a true, true unboxing because I did open it. Um, I wanted to make sure before I decided to keep this that um, I had certain outfits in mind for this bag and I wanted to make sure it was what I envisioned um, because there's sort of a particular bag that I'd had in my mind that I was missing in my collection and that's kind of what I'm trying to do at this point is only get bags that fill a void in my collection. Like I don't want to keep repeating kind of different versions of the same bag uh, because I just I'm getting to the point where I have too many bags and well not too many bags but um, I have a lot and it's you know I, I feel like if I get something that's redundant it's um, not money well spent and it won't get used as much so um, I feel like this bag is so different from anything I have and fills a, a void in my collection. The other bag I was looking at last night was one of the little camera bags and it was the pink lambskin from this season with the silver hardware and it was beautiful. It, I loved it. But then I thought about, okay, that's, you know, very similar to my small diorama in the pink with silver hardware. Similar size, crossbody, pink with silver hardware. That's so similar that it, it really doesn't bring anything new to my collection. So I went for this. So anyway, I will stop rambling and show you guys what I got. So I did put it back in here, but like I said, I had already opened it last night and this morning to make sure that I made the right decision with this one because it is different. So here's the dust bag. And of course the care booklet and everything. You guys have seen all that before. So and here is my, I believe this is called the Jungle Stroll. Um, I'm not 100% sure on that, but this is the Jungle Stroll and this is in the denim um, from the I think they call it the waterfall collection so you can see that in the denim it's got like this l really subtle striping um, which is supposed to look like waterfall I guess and it so it is denim um, with leather trim and there's leather woven through the little strap here so you can see it has this little strap top handle detail which I love and it is a crossbody bag 
um, and one side of the strap is denim, the other side is leather, and it is a fully adjustable, so I did adjust it um, when trying it on at the store. I ended up putting it on the middle hole, um, and it's very easy to adjust, which is nice, and it has this extra strap down here, or loop down here, to tuck the strap in so it's not sticking out, which is really nice. Um, it has silver hardware, it has a pocket in the front here, which fits my phone very easily, my iPhone 7, and it has a magnetic closure, and then the main compartment also has a magnetic closure, stepping out, and it is... Uh, navy blue inside with a big open pocket uh, so here's the authenticity card 25 series Let's put that back in there um, and yeah it's so it's one big open compartment I don't know if you can see that and then one big kind of slip pocket there and whoops sorry it says Chanel, let's see if I can get that to focus. Chanel made in Italy, if you can see that, it's not focusing. Let's see if I can get it to focus. No, it doesn't want to focus, but that's okay. It says Chanel made in Italy. Um, so the reason that I chose this bag is because I really wanted a navy bag in my collection. I've I have a lot of outfits where I put them on and I think, oh, a navy bag would look great with this outfit. Um, I wear a lot of blues, um, light and dark blues, a lot of jeans, um, a lot of chambray type uh, materials, and um, never really have a bag that quite is right with those outfits. And so I know I knew that I wanted to add a navy bag and hadn't really ever considered denim before um, but when I tried this on I don't know it was just really cute very different from anything else I have um, nice and casual so really suits my lifestyle crossbody uh, holds enough I like that it has this top handle because you can actually carry it like this just tuck the strap behind and carry it like this which is really cute too sorry I don't know if you can see that but carrying it just with the top handle um, I was slightly hesitant because it is denim and only trimmed in leather and they also had the black all leather one which was the exact same price and I was kind of like oh should I get the all leather one which is you know same price but I'm getting an all leather bag but um, on the other hand it was just another black bag, which I really don't need. Um, I know a lot of people have, you know, almost all black bags in their collection, but that's just not me. I like color. If you've seen kind of my collection or what I wear, I do like color. And um, another black bag wouldn't be adding something new to my collection, whereas this is just really unique. And um, I don't know, I just... I, but I did, you know, I did hesitate a little bit and that's why I tried it on with a bunch of outfits uh, this morning just to make sure that I wanted to keep it because my essay said, you know, if, if you get home and, and you realize that you'd rather have the leather one or, you know, something else, she, she said, you know, feel free to bring it back and um, she actually held the leather one for me just in case that I wanted to exchange it, but I have decided to keep this because uh, once I tried it on with certain outfits, it just, it really was what what was missing in my collection, something that, um, that I really did not have. And the quality is really nice. Um, I don't know, something, Chanel's, even Chanel's seasonal pieces, which I'm not normally as drawn to, I have been loving uh, this year like my two Urban Companion bags that I got, love them, been using them nonstop. Um, and this one, like it's just, it's such such a cute design and 
Um, I will definitely post some mod shots on Instagram, so keep an eye out for that. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for, to wear this for spring and summer. And I tried it on with spring outfits, summer outfits, and fall outfits. And I think it's going to work for those three seasons. Winter, I don't think quite so much. But I think it's like a really good three season bag. So anyway, let me know what you think down below. I, um, yeah, a denim bag, it's, it's new to me. But um, I'm kind of excited to have something a little different in my collection. And I forgot to mention that... I don't know if you can if the camera is picking it up but it does have the quilted stitching all through this front pocket which is nice too um yeah so that is my these are my mother's day gifts uh a week early and um yeah i'm really i feel really lucky to have them i um have been on a ban <laughs> and it's it's been five weeks and counting and I've been really good. So ban was broken a little bit for Mother's Day, but I feel like that's a good excuse to uh, break a ban. Um, anyway, uh, I do have to wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and also following me on Instagram. Uh, my handle there is fashionjunkie33. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.